Good evening everyone, my name is Amy Ditter, the head girl. And I'm Francis Mardram, head boy here at the Highcrest Academy. Before we begin, let's start with some housekeeping. Please can I ask that you make sure your phones are switched off or put them to silent. Toilets are located just outside of the hall, back in the main reception where you came in. Fire exits are located at the back of the hall and at the front of the hall. I feel like a flight attendant. <laughs> if the fire alarm rings, it will not be a test, so please make your way to the nearest exit. To kick off the evening, I would like to pass over to a couple of our Year 7s, Maya and Catherine Sam. They're going to tell you about their early life here at the Highcrest Academy. Good evening to hopefully the future students of Highcrest Academy. My name is Maya, and when I started at Highcrest Academy, the transition from primary to secondary school did seem challenging at first. One of the differences about secondary school is having no trays under your tables where you sit for lessons, but there being lockers around the school for you to put your books and bags in. Why also I have only been at Highcrest Academy for just over a month now, I have learned a lot about the school. This is brilliant. This school is brilliant because it offers us Year 7 is the chance to come to summer school, which helped, which helped me come out my shell a little bit. And now I know most of the school and I'm feeling right at home. My favourite lesson is chemistry because of all the fun things we learn, how knowledgeable my teachers are. High course offers before and after school clubs run by our teachers and each club encourages you to explore new things, become independent learners and to discover new love for learning. We would really love for you to come to High Coast Academy and we we'll hope to welcome you here next year. Good evening everyone. My name is Catherine Sun and I'm here to tell you why High Coast Academy is such a great school and why you should come here. First of all, the teachers here are fabulous and the older students are really helpful and kind. Our teachers and older students are always very keen and happy to help you if you are lost. And our teachers are always there to help you with your homework, which by the way is completely manageable and actually quite enjoyable. Secondly, the lessons here are super fun and there is no way you'll get bored. From looking through a microscope in biology, building your own creations in engineering, to learning about new sports and activities in PE, there is always something new for everyone to discover, which is what I love about Highcrest Academy. Each department at Highcrest Academy runs a before and after school club to provide further opportunities for us to enjoy what we love. In fact, there's even a homework club run after school which gives you the chance to complete your homework with teachers around for extra help. Finally, and probably my favourite part is how good the food is served in the canteen at High Crest Academy. <laughs> it's exceptionally better than primary school and there's always something delicious on the menu. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a good evening. Thank you very much to the Year 7s and their early insight and experience into Highcrest. And I hope you have seen, and will see, how truly fantastic Highcrest is. I remember being sat down there on those little red plastic chairs, looking up at the big stage one afternoon, yesterday, for an assembly. Maybe humour isn't my thing, but the success and confidence I've gained from Highcrest throughout their outstanding opportunities definitely is my thing. I mean, just to name a few opportunities, include Young Enterprise, Duke of Edinburgh, Bridge to Employment, Theatre and Music Trips, University Visits, and the list goes on. What I particularly love at Highcrest over the past seven years is how much they care and want you to develop, not just academically, but as a person and young adult in society, ensuring you're not just successful in school, but in life. You could almost say Highcrest has been too good at this. My next step is to do my degree and to go into education and teaching. So Highcrest, watch out and prepare to be back in a few years. <laughs> I started out here in Year 7 extremely shy and quiet. Someone who would not want to be doing what I'm doing right now and I would hardly recognise myself today. This is down to attending this academy. The opportunities the school have given me have boosted my confidence completely. 
now being able to give speeches in front of several parents like you guys, not backing out of any class presentations, and taking every opportunity that pushes me far out of my comfort zone. Examples of these are joining the school netball team, drama productions, being a prefect, a house captain, and being part of the alliance building and training session this year. This is part of the Bridge to Employment programme, which Highcrest offers, run by the company Johnson & Johnson, helping individuals with their futures after education and learning about yourself and others. I was granted the privilege this year to become the High Wycombe Ambassador, in which I will take part in in a couple of weeks' time, speaking to students my age around the world, learning, each other's, learning about each other's Bridge to Employment sites. This has completely built my confidence from all the help of my teachers and peers, which has made my time here so amazing. I now study my A-levels being performing arts, psychology and law. My studies have impacted me greatly and I now want to take my next steps to university to work in the field of psychology mental health. Highcrest is such a close community to be in every day and a really great school and I strongly believe that you two will be able to follow your personal dreams and all of your aspirations here too. I will now pass you over to our principal, Mr Burke. How on earth do I follow that? I think they deserve another big round of applause, don't you? I'd like to start by giving you three key reasons why I believe you should entrust your child's future education to us here at Highcrest. Number one, your child will be happy, safe and secure. It's so important for you to know as parents. But this isn't my opinion. This is the opinion of over 98% of our current students. Number two, your child will enjoy coming to school, a vital ingredient for their day-to-day -day well-being. But this isn't my opinion. This is the opinion of over 98% of our current parents. Number three, your child will make good progress. You got it? Not my opinion, but the opinion of Ofsted when they came to visit just 18 months ago. So these are recent judgments. Indeed, when Ofsted came to visit, they judged us to be good in every aspect of everything that we do. My opinion is that Highcrest is so special and has so much to offer your child. But I'll be completely honest with you, I'm really biased. So tonight it has to be about you judging us for yourselves. And as part of this I urge you, come and see us in action on a normal working day. And if you can't make this date, give us a call, make an appointment and one of the youngsters will show you around. Whenever you take a tour of the academy, you'll notice that we offer a vast range of both academic and vocational experiences. These ensure that every child finds a suitable pathway to match both their talents and their future career aspirations. You'll also notice that we have some fantastic facilities from our wonderful main hall here with its state-of-the-art lighting and sound, our bright and cheerful classrooms, massive sports hall, modern workshops, the list really is endless. Indeed, the list has continued to grow. Just before the pandemic, the local authority funded these three key areas around our site because we're always so oversubscribed. Our sixth form centre has trebled in size over two floors. This has given us four additional classrooms three additional ICT suites, private independent study zones, and a social area with Wi-Fi throughout. Our sports halls have a second floor built across the entirety of its length, and within this we house a specialist PE theory classroom, a wonderful dance studio, and a gym. But even more exciting, believe it or not, than our fantastic gym here, was the expansion of our old canteen, which again has trebled in size, transforming the interior into a bright, modern dining room. So you see, both our curriculum and our facilities at Highcrest have and will continue to grow. However, we all know, don't we, that a good school is far more than simply about good facilities. It's about how these facilities are used by our staff to benefit the children. And what fantastic staff we have here, from our canteen, our office, our site team and technicians, our pastoral support team, special educational needs support, English as an additional language support, and social, emotional, well-being and mental health support. 
so important during these difficult times. And then, of course, there's our fantastic teachers, who you'll find to be enthusiastic and energetic, even after a long day like today, and excited. Excited about being part of our team. Now, this is something I hope you notice when you walk around. I hope you feel it, that at Highcrest we're a family, we're part of a team. We believe in team ethic and the power of the team. In fact, it's central to everything that we do. Everybody, no matter what their position in our team, has a vital role to play in the future success of our academy, a vital role to play in the future success of our students, and hopefully one day, a vital role to play in the future success of your children. The children that we currently have here are wonderful. And again, as part of this process, I urge you to speak to as many of them as possible, because we all know, don't we, that they'll always give you an honest opinion about their school. At Highcrest, we're the first comprehensive or ability academy in our selective county. Our admissions banding test, which we'll be happy to take questions on afterwards. This isn't simply about teaching pupils of different abilities in different classrooms. This is about enabling us to tailor our vast range of interventions and, to, and support to ensure that every child can fully participate, but probably more importantly, be fully included in every lesson. On the one level, we support those who struggle with their literacy and numeracy with a range of early morning and after school classes, small group and one-to-one -one sessions to bring them up to speed. And on the other level, we challenge our more able, not only in class with extension tasks, but also outside of the classroom with a range of extracurricular activities. Indeed, it's because of this work that we became the first school in Buckinghamshire to be awarded the prestigious Inclusion Quality Mark. I must point out that this award is only achieved if all pupils of all abilities are stretched to perform to their maximum. In fact, they think we're so good at this that for the past seven years they've made us a flagship school for this award, meaning that we now support other schools with this type of work. One of only a handful of schools in the entire country that's been identified as being excellent at catering for all abilities of students. Can you imagine how proud of that we are? So what about our outcomes, our results? A-level results day is always a wonderful day up here over the summer, seeing the now young adults collecting their grades. And what fantastic grades they were again this year. A third of the students achieving the top A-star and A-grades. And 98% of our entire sixth form cohort passing their A-level qualifications. What pleased us most about this figure is that it hasn't fallen below 98% for the past nine years. On top of this, because our progress score is always positive, it easily places us in the top 10 six forms in Buckinghamshire in the Department for Education's league tables. League tables which, let's not forget, include the grammar schools. It's because of these wonderful results that every student in our sixth form that applied for university this year got a place at either their first or second choice. However, probably more importantly, every single student achieved their desired destination, whether that be university, an apprenticeship, or the world of work. Now that is real success. GCSE results day is another wonderful day up here over the summer with lots of happy and some quite surprised faces. I really don't know why. But again, with some excellent results. The figure that pleased us most here is down the bottom. Those number who have achieved five GCSE passes or more hasn't fallen below 98% for the past eight years. So you can see there's a pattern here, there's a trend. Both at A-level and at GCSE, we have high standards that we've maintained over time. Now these good results quite simply wouldn't be possible without high standards and high expectations for good behaviour. Good behaviour is so important to us at Highcrest because we know how important it is to you as parents to know that your child is surrounded by other children who behave. To help us with this, we have something called our core routines. These are routines to help us reinforce discipline, but also routines to help us reinforce common courtesies. We expect our students to line up quietly outside classrooms, to hold doors open for one another, 
and to always say please and thank you. To help us further reinforce these high expectations, we have a series of virtues here linked to our motto, Aspire and Achieve. These are virtues that help us build, develop and refine our students' characters so that they don't only go on and become happy and successful members of our community, but one day happy and successful members of society. We remind them every day that A is for ambition. We set our students challenging targets and we expect them to aim high. This is one way of doing it. We remind them that the world really is their oyster. And each and every one of them really can go on and be whatever at all they want to be as long as they have ambition. S is for sensitivity. We teach our students to have an appreciation and an understanding of others' feelings, beliefs and different cultures. At Highcrest we're a UNICEF rights respecting school. So naturally we expect our students to treat others as they would wish to be treated themselves with sensitivity. P is for purpose. We teach our students to try hard in every lesson. Not just those lessons that they enjoy or they're good at, that's the easy bit, but to try just as hard in the lessons that they're not as good at, that they don't enjoy as much. To always try their best, to always work with a sense of purpose. I is for integrity. Naturally, we expect our students to be honest and truthful, but not only honest and truthful to their friends and the staff, honest and truthful to themselves. We challenge them to ask themselves difficult questions such as, did I work hard enough today? And then we challenge them to give themselves an honest and truthful answer. And then we move forwards with integrity. R is for resilience. We teach our students never to give up. We explain to them that everybody has an off day. Everybody gets bad scores in tests. But we teach them to overcome their mistakes to learn from their failures, to pick themselves up, to dust themselves down, to keep on going with resilience. And finally, E is for eloquence. We encourage our students to do the important things on a regular basis, to read on a regular basis, to practice their handwriting on a regular basis, and to speak aloud in front of their peers on a regular basis with eloquence. We tell our students that if they do these things, if they have these virtues, if they aspire, then they can and they will achieve. Now our core routines and our virtues go hand in hand. And every single one of us that work here reinforce them, lesson by lesson, day by day, week by week. Helping us instill a culture of excellence that then runs through every strand of our High Crest Academy. Before I finish, if I may, just address the young people in the audience. Youngsters, you've heard me speak lots tonight about core routines, discipline and exams. So I wanted to reassure you that there are still plenty of opportunities here at Highcrest for you to have lots of fun. You can start every day in our breakfast club sharing tea and toast friends and the staff, and it's all free. If you like competitions, you'll love our house system where you get to mix and compete with and against students from different year groups in a range of competitions throughout the year, battling out for house points. If drama is your thing, we have a number of productions throughout the year, including the ever popular High Press Got Talent, in which I play the Simon Cowell on the judges' panel. <laughs> Very well, thank you. If music is your thing, learn to play an instrument, join our orchestra, or sing in our choir. And if you're sporty, the clubs run before school, throughout lunchtime, after school, and there are plenty of competitive teams that you can join. We also have a number of trips, including adventure weekends away where you get to build rafts, climb and canoe. And if adventure's your thing, then why not get a qualification for doing it and join our Duke of Edinburgh Awards Scheme. We also have a number of trips abroad, including our annual, very emotive, thought-provoking trip to the battlefields in Belgium. Fun weekends away to Disneyland Paris in France, skiing in Italy, Madrid in Spain, or why not go further afield and visit our little school in India. You see youngsters, there really is something for each and every one of you here at Highcrest. To conclude, parents, 
When you're making what I know is this really difficult decision about which secondary school to send your child to, you need to know that they'll be happy, safe and secure. You need to know that they'll enjoy coming to school every day and you need to know that they'll make good progress. At Highcrest, I'm confident that they will. And I hope by the end of this evening that you're able to share in my confidence. Childhood is so short. That's why at the Highcrest Academy, we will make sure that your child's school days really are the best days of their lives. Thank you for listening. I'll pass back to our head boy and head girl. Thank you so much for listening to us all this evening and we hope you have found this really insightful. If you have any questions about the banding test, please do stay behind here in the hall to speak to Mrs Weldon and Miss Webb. If you are continuing on the tour, please make your way outside of the hall where your tour guide will be waiting. Thank, Thank you for listening, listening and goodbye. goodbye.